Here's our first video for getting to know uh, version 16, WinBid Pro. So this is actually a preview version or release of the program. So it's not the complete program, but it is usable and, ha and you can draw elevations and print some reports. Um, so it's missing a few things like rakes and arches. Uh, it's also missing labor, but it has the key reports and you can draw elevations and basically get a feel for what the program's like, and that's kind of why we're doing a preview. Um, so when you first install the program, it is installing the application on your computer, and it's giving you a, an icon, but it's actually letting you select the vendor catalogs you want to use. So you can select a catalog initially and then later on you can go up here to catalogs and hit manage vendors and then it's going to give you a list of catalogs you can also pick um, so it already shows me that I have a saved catalog here and then the other vendors that are uh, available to select are right here so just remember that you can do that now if you have your own catalogs that you have either custom configured or uh, made a bunch of changes to and want to bring those over to version 16, we can do that for you, but we'll have to deal with that on an individual basis during the preview period. So uh, just contact us and let us know and we'll help you with that. Eventually there will be a migrator that you can run and uh, you can do it yourself, but that's how it's going to work now. So let me just show how you can create a uh, your first job. So you would go up to jobs, click new job, and then click on the vendor. There could be multiple vendors here. So this is a big difference from 15. You're creating a job, picking the vendor at the same time, and then your jobs list, when you go back to edit a job, will have the entire list of jobs that you've created uh, with any vendor that you used. So you no longer have to select the vendor first and then pick the job. Basically, all your jobs are listed together, and it just shows what vendor was being used. So we think that's a better solution, and hopefully you guys agree. So we can just name the job now, and then we can pick a finish and go to create. And this part is fairly similar to 15. I, I'm sure it'll seem familiar to you. And um, there's a elevation code, which is kind of what a code would match plans, uh, architectural plans. Uh, one big difference is you can do a punched opening. So um, you can play with that. If you check that box, it just lets you pick uh, entrance stuff and it doesn't really use a framing system. So uh, that's something that I know we've been wanting to do for a while. But for now, if I want to just do a regular elevation, I can select a framing system. And this has all the same sorting abilities that uh, the version 15 grids have. You know, you can search um, for things here, and then you can use these little filter icons to uh, narrow down things. So, you know, if I'm looking for inside glazed, I can select that and narrow down my list. So it should be familiar to you if, uh, you know, you use that in 15. So select the frame and then from this point it's a lot like version 15 where you tell it the quantity, the number of panels, uh, the width and height and and then it just draws your basic elevation. And Remember this is getting pulled from uh, the internet or it's getting saved and, and read from the internet so for the catalog and job information. So it might not seem as snappy as if it's on your local computer, but I think it's pretty quick. And the servers are something that we can scale as more people use it, and we get a better feeling of what the performance is like. So keep that in mind. But you can go through the, um, the tabs here and see what drawing tools we've had and how they've changed. And uh, I'll do another video on how the framing systems work. All right. Thanks very much.